Good morning guys and welcome to another video. Um, so today, quite a productive morning really. I went to the dentist and had my teeth checked and that was all alright. And now we're getting my blood test. But for dietary reasons. So, yeah. I'll speak to you in a bit. Here we are. The blood test of doom. Got my flatbread subway sandwich with ham, cheese, lettuce and salad. Okay guys, so we're in TK Maxx at the moment and there's quite a lot of bags right now. Hmm. I love this one, it's so lovely. It's got really shimmery shine to it. Look at TK Maxx's new Halloween range. I love this. Little ceramic pumpkin. Not sure about this guy. And this is their Christmas range. Look how beautiful these are. They are gorgeous. What do you think about this? Little cocktail edit, um, little present? Huh? Who knew TK Maxx did an underwater and gladiator range? For the Jane Austen fans, this is a big book. Look at what range we're in. Candles. Can't help it. Doesn't really smell like pumpkin. So now we're looking in Poundland because I'm planning to do like a little Halloween miniature party thingy. I don't know. And I've already got Tombstone. I'm not really sure what I want now, but hopefully you find something in a minute. Okay, guys. So we're in Marks and Spencer at the moment, and look at this. Ten pound for a pair of angel wings. Look at it. It's all Christmassy. Just found my Christmas present. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> wow, that's new. Okay, guys, so we are back from what? It's been a manic day, really. Um, not entirely sure what went on today, but when I was at Hempstead, I had a really panicky feeling, so I was like, can we just get out as soon as possible? So I thought I'd come and see my little girls. Hey! Hey! They've gone all quiet now because they're on camera. I don't know where the day has gone, guys, but it's literally half past six. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? I've just had dinner and now I'm really hungry. <laughs> and all I want is this digestive millionaire shortbread. I'm not doing well with my dairy thing not doing well at all so my uploading is going okay keeps telling me it's going to be two hours and 58 minutes i suppose i've got to leave it for an all-nighter again oh well anyway how have you guys i haven't really talked too much today it's really bizarre i think i just had this sort of mindset that i was like oh okay just do this but i bought the did i show you what i bought like in Poundland there was this little spooky tombstone thing and I wanted to buy that because I'm planning to do I think maybe on Halloween and just have like a fun movie night with like little snacks and pieces like that but I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it maybe Sunday the day before Halloween or should I do it on Halloween don't know how that's gonna work out we normally go out before dinner because then we can come back eat dinner and then relax don't know how it's going to be this year but we i'm going to vlog halloween because it's so fun literally we kind of walk for about two miles to try and get candy i know we're very enthusiastic about halloween around here we don't get many trick-or-treaters though so it's kind of just like do-it-yourself type thing but anyway i'm going to eat my digestive probably light my candle because i think this room needs some aroma oh pumpkins growing mold in them lifted up the lid and fluff was going like you know the um sort of einstein sort of hair yeah it was that i was like oh my god i only carved those a few days ago what am i gonna do so yeah tip always carve your pumpkins three days before halloween because you don't know what it's gonna do 
Okay guys, so the time is five past eight and you know I'm actually feeling really chill tonight, not too bad. The reason why I'm all alone, my dad's gone out with one of his friends just to hang out because god he never gets to go anywhere after work. He just sleeps on the sofa like you saw in what vlog was that? In one of my vlogs, I think it was from a few days back, um, <laughs> My dad was asleep on the sofa and I was watching Wallace and Gromit, so I said to Shut up. I said two of my favourite things and so on. But I wanted to talk to you guys. Have you ever, comment down below, have you ever done anything for charity? It can be anything at all. It can be for a local charity, it can be for a big charity. Have you done anything? Um, I know there's like... Um, I think it's a national thing um, where you go to like paintball runs or uh, bubble runs and I do a bubble run for Demelza Hospice every year and it's really fun and I get to do it quite I did it twice in a row with Mia so it's quite nice just to hang out with her a lot of fun stuff but I recently came up with an idea and I want you guys to try it so say like you walk into a pound or a dollar store and you see like sort of essential items now this guy had posted on Facebook and I can't remember his name um, but one of my friends um, shared it and I thought it was amazing basically this guy had made up um, I don't know it was about 10 20 quid's worth of a bag and it was like thermal socks, toothpaste, toothbrush all the essentials that you would need so like bits of food bits of sugar bits of bits and pieces basically and he gave it to the homeless and i thought oh my god that's a brilliant idea so your challenge as i'd like to put it is you go and buy out essential things it doesn't have to be fancy nancy expensive things only if you want to but get a zipper bag, get a ziplock bag and just make maybe one or two and that will make someone's day. Go out to the street and just give it to them. I'm sure they will have enough gratitude to thank you because right now I was looking at a post in our local paper. 200 people aged 20 to 70 had camped on our local field. That is crazy that has to be something to done there has to be something done you can't just leave people like that it's terrifying i would hate it but if you hadn't already known that i'm doing a lot of um my sort of foundation work and i do like a um a little foundation that helps children in hospital and i give them like little gifts and sort of parents shower gels and that i'll leave a link in the description to my facebook page where you can sort of see what gifts i've got given and i'm thinking of going to the hospital back again soon but when i do this um homeless thing i will film it for you because i think it'd be so lovely to see their reaction because whenever i walk across the street and i see someone who's homeless and i just think that's unbelievably terrifying like you just see them and the tired the camping that's just doors it's horrible people shouldn't have to go through that the world is a very good and bad place it's mentally and physically breaking apart but you just don't know it i guess and it's so frustrating though because not everybody gets the support they need do you know what i mean but that is my challenge for you. Either raise money for your like favourite charity in the world. If it's donating to a live stream, if it's doing anything, comment down below if you've ever given anything to charity. Because I'd love to hear from you guys. And the support you've given me over the past few months is immense. Like the views just keep going up and up and I'm very grateful for that. So thank you. And also I if you want me to I'll create a video on how I started raising money and so on. So I think that'd be quite a good video actually. I might actually do that. But yeah, I'm not really doing much, just watching old pointless blog videos. Being very lazy at the moment and 
I haven't yet had another one because I'm trying to sort of not cut down, but being lazy, digestive shortbreads, they are gorgeous. Okay.